So our Silencer Co. rep is here and he brought out the Silencer Co. Maxim 9. We're about to take it out on the range and, and see what we can do. Shoot it a little bit. I, I've got I've got a box of uh, 140 grain subsonic 9mm cellar and billet and just our standard 115 grain federal RTP range target practice stuff. We're going to take it out there and try it through both. Might as well. Got, uh, uh, they, they've switched to, to Glock magazines, which I didn't realize, so, so now they're at 17 round Glock mags. I've got 10 rounds of uh, 115 grain federal loaded up. We'll try it out and see how it shoots. It's really quiet for 115 grain. I, I really expected just because of the, the velocity of the round that it was gonna be a lot louder than what it is. So I'm gonna load up another 10 rounds of the Cellar and Bellet Subsonic. I can imagine that's gonna be really quiet. 10 rounds at this time of the 140 grain Cellar and Bellet Subsonic. Let's, let's try that out. I can imagine it's gonna be <laughs> even quieter. How's it feel? Yeah. It's, it's fine. We're going to let Corey shoot it a little bit too. What you're hearing is people in other lanes shooting right now as well. So the only people in here. That's standard velocity. Yeah, this is the 115 grain Federal. What you're seeing with the brass getting kicked back is it's ejecting it really hard up against the side of the the side of the shooting bay, and then uh, it's kind of bouncing back on us. So it's it's not ejecting poorly at all. It's ejecting really strongly against the side of the. It's super light for being what it is. Two pounds, seven ounces. My Glock 19 with a can on it is not that light. That's crazy. Yeah, I'm surprised. It's it's easily the quietest nine millimeter I've shot. Pretty neat. This is with the 115 grain. It feels very quiet. What'd you think? I can dig it. <laughs> only, only thing that I have on it is the uh, leak. I mean, it'd be great if I had to use it in the field with the suppressor, but drawing would probably be an issue. It's a, little, a little longer? Yeah. yeah. Because, let's see, right now, do I carry? So I would have to draw that much to pull it out. Yeah. This I'd have to draw from here and clear my holster. Yeah, I think they've got y'all got outside the waistband options on it for here. Yeah, so we, the three holsters hey, uh, Glock that we're manufacturing with Blackhawk, uh, G Code, and American Gunfighter, they're all level two retention holsters. It's not designed to be a concealed carry platform. It's right. designed as a service pistol. So it, the concealed carry option it just wasn't something that we were that concerned with when we manufactured it. Absolutely. So just looking through the pistol a little bit, uh, this is still technically a pre-production model. They said all of this is 3D printed, triggers 3D printed. Um, that's all going to be steel on the actual production model that we were going to have shipping to us in April. And yes, we are going to have one as a rental gun. So keep that in mind. Uh, it, it does have a plate up front for, for an RMR. So you can go ahead and put optics on the gun right out of the factory. That sounds like a great idea. Uh, the sights are nothing right home about and they're offset right now just because uh, that's where it zeroed out as a, as a pre-production model.
the the baffles themselves or the, the suppressor is, is modular so you can you can lengthen it or shorten it. I think this is as long as it gets right now. You can take some of these off though in order to shorten it. Obviously the sound would go up a little louder as you as you get into you know fewer baffles. But yeah, some of the pre-production models that I had seen used Smith & Wesson M&T magazines. They've gone to the standard Glock 17 magazine. I, I don't know why they made the change, but I think it's a fine change. These, these magazines are readily available, and it means that you're not going to have to source something else. So, First look at the Silencer Co. Maxim 9. I'm excited to get one in the rental case. You guys will have to get out here and try to shoot one. Hopefully it'll show up here at the shop sometime in April.